You want to be successful at anything? There's a three-step formula. Identify role model. First thing. But make sure your role model is the best in the world. Not just by Port Antonio standard. <laughs> or Portland standard. Or Cornwall, Middlesex. Sorry, standard. <laughs> right? But by world standard, the best. Identify role model. Then get the recipe from the role model. And thirdly, don't change it. Do the same. I wanted to train myself to be a good communicator. So who is the best communicator in the world? My I'm artist. That is my conclusion. They can communicate articulately without even speaking. So no, I didn't know any of my artists. So what I did, there's a, a televangelist, Robert Schuller. And this man is good, right? So what I would do, every Sunday morning I would wake up, turn on Dr. Schuller at the Crystal Cathedral, turn the volume down, and now I can see the <laughs> right. <laughs> see the getting the getting his hear see watching his body language. That's the training I put myself through. So being passionate and communicating, right? Essential. Two weeks ago, exactly. I was exercising, exercise every morning, right? So I thought, how did I get here? Are there some common things that I absolutely did through my uh, personal success, corporate success, etc.? Right? And three things came to mind. Number one, I got here by being purpose driven. Number two, I got here by being creative. You hear, you can hear, my artist, TV, the televangelist, right? I'm creative, right? Being creative. And thirdly, I got here by being passionate about what I do. It came to me early in life because again by observing you look at successful people and my observation was that eminently successful person has a cause a mission that is way beyond him or her Nelson Mandela did he have a cause do we still remember who he is so therefore this is a purpose driven attitude that will do three things for us number one Build the best reputation. Whether you're an individual or a corporation or a country, right? It's your purpose-driven attitude that will build the best reputation. Secondly, it's your purpose-driven attitude that will differentiate you in the, amongst your peers, in, your, in the marketplace, in the world. Your purpose-driven attitude. It's your purpose-driven attitude that will allow you to be passionate when you hit the ear pockets. It's your purpose-driven attitude. Because ear pockets will be there every day, right? But if you don't have an antidote, <laughs> you're gonna think, when you hit the ear pocket, you're gonna think, um, um, is, is this the time I'm gonna crash? Or is, uh, is it a, it's just an ear pocket. I'm not gonna crash, right? I'm just throwing out snippets of dogmas that guide me.